St Andrews as the golfers arrive up at the first tee. Our Keith Prowse golf manager, Stan Thane there, giving out some last minute in instructions. Uh, just time to pose for a few photographs before we start. As you can see, beautiful day here, typical Scottish summer's day. And uh, while these last nervous moments before we tee off as the clock ticks away, 10.30 is our time. And Jill Zumwalt sends one away up the first fairway and uh, looks pretty good. She looks happy with that one. This is Don Zumwalt. Don, well, nice setup. Big white fairway here. The first shares a fairway with 18. So all the trouble on the right. So I uh, want to keep it just slightly left of centre here. And I think that's what Don has done. Some putting practice last minute. Putting practice taking place there. Right, let's go forward to Steve Kahalani. Nice fluid swing. Gives it a long look. I think it's safely over Granny Clark's wind. Some warming up getting done here. Right, this is Bob Breger. Bob, give that one the full treatment. And he's safely down the middle. As we set off down this first fairway, conditions here absolutely fantastic for golf. Typical Scottish summer's day. Well, that's G and John. Nietzsche just uh, posing in front of their new building. And if we look down, back down the fairway from our camera position behind the first green. Final last minute preparations being made. Caddy's checking the grips, and this is Bob. I think he's probably going to go for it. And he has. Looked like a five wood. And well, no, in fact, Bob's just judged that absolutely perfectly laid up. Just a little chip over the smoke and burn, you'll be fine. That's Don coming in from tricky angle. And he's decided to lay up as well. That should hold up. Just shot off the oh dear, well. Just made the smoke and burn. That'll be a lift and drop. Now Jill. She'll have seen Dawn shot, so she'll have judged that one to absolute perfection. Dawn again. Little pitch over. Greens are holding today, so nice action on that ball. And he's judged it fine, well, safely on. A lot of check on that ball. Comes in about pin high back up to the first tee. This is Bob, this tricky little pitch shot here. One of Bob's speciality shots this. Cuts across it. Uh, well, went for safety. Not too aggressive in this first green. Now Steve He'll play a kind of pitch and bump here, I would think. Run it out to the pin. As I thought. And that's an excellent golf shot. So early in the round. Well, as you can see, our next group tee off. Any second now. With J. That's a fantastic golf swing. Playing today with Sherry Anderson, but Bob in the first. 
Got about 18, 20 feet till at least. I don't think he's given that one enough. Well, not one of Bob's better putts. Now the caddy's giving it a line about oh, three or four inches outside that left lip. I think it might be just a bit more, but he'll know best. This would be a great start if Jill could net this one. Well, I think the caddy was right. Just a bit wide. Well, back up to Sherry on the tee. Nice setup. And whips into that one. And I think she likes it. Yes, she does. Don down at the down at the green with this. Well, this is fairly straight. He wants to be firm for his par. Doesn't want to leave this one short. Oh well, just a bit aggressive. Knocked it just a bit past. That's not dead by any by any means. Steve. Nice putting action. He's had a good long look at this one. Likes to get over the ball. And well, yes, he's taking blame himself. The caddy obviously give him the line. Now Bob. Shouldn't be too much, oh dear, well. Bob's not putting at his best today. Just taking a while to warm up, I think. Back up to the first tee, this is John. Meet him. And well, seemed a bit quick, but I think we're okay. Don. Gets a good run at it. Well, he's a, he's a powerful man. And that one was conceded. Ron Anderson on the first tee in the old course at St Andrews nervous moment for some but not for this man that's a great golf swing sweeps it off safely and he likes it well over Granny Clark's wind I can tell you that one around the golf that they'll never forget Jill with this, just this, this tap in. Yeah, solid there. Well, Steve with similar distance, and I'm sure he would have knocked that one in as uh, our second group head down the fairway. Onto their drives, but back to Steve. Just a tap in for this man. Yeah. Right in the middle. Well, Bob will have been inspired by that, I'm sure. Although he's had a bit of trouble with his putting here. I'm sure they'll put that behind him. No problem at all. Back up the fairway, this is John coming in from the right hand side of the fairway, he's opened up the pin, that's no more than a wedge, and oh dear well, bit of a splash there in the smoking burn, let's see what Sherry can do, I think 
Sherry's laid up. Oh, do well. She's made the burn as well. Jail have learned a lot from that, I'm sure. And well, taking no chances, safely over. John with his drop. That's a great shot oh, over the hole. That would have been a great four. Well, this is where Ron's second came to. Pitches it back up. Looks good. Oh, great for line, just a bit too much pace. Fantastic weather here in the middle of a heat haze, heat wave, should I say? Gee, long, long putt this one. And well, she was bang on line. Just a few more ounces. Ron for his four. Very unlucky. Just rolled off at the last minute. Yeah, me can't understand it. Anyway, bogey five, not too bad here at the first. Let's see what Sherry can do. Very deliberate. And well, almost. I'm sure that'll be conceded. Well, John's got about six feet here, should break left or right. And well, he started it right. Well, in fact, he was on line, I take it back. Just never give it enough. No problem for Jay. Great start for this girl. Congratulated there by John. And with that we'll have a look at the history of the some of the most famous moments here on the old course at St Andrews. A par four to win. How many people are given the chance to win the Open Championship? by holding a three-foot putt. That task fell to Doug Sanders. One shot ahead of Jack Nicholas, with just the 18th at St Andrews to play. Missed it. Yeah. Certainty. Yes, that's the side you're bound to miss. It. A miss that and Sanders would remember for the rest of his life. In the ensuing playoff, Nicholas came to the 18th needing to hold to win. Oh, he's and got he it. made he's got no it. mistakes. He threw the club up and he nearly caught Sanders with a big bang down. The faces said it all. The delight of Nicholas and the dejected Doug Sanders. Eight years later, Nicholas was to return to St Andrews. Tied with the young New Zealander Simon Owen at the start of the last day, they came to the 17th. Owen at this point was only trailing Nicholas by one shot. Nicholas faced with a very difficult putt at 17 clinched the title there and then as Owen dropped another shot. That's got to be one of the great cuts in Jack Nicklaus's career. One, one of the greatest the champions seen ever seen at St Andrews. Exactly how he stood. The last of his three Open Championships, two of which took place at St Andrews. Six years later, the flamboyant play of Severiano Ballesteros. 
He came to the 17th involved in a titanic struggle with Tom Watson. The perfect approach shot set up a par 4 at 17 for Ballesteros. Unfortunately, when Watson came to play the 17th, the road and the wall both came into play. The man who had won five of the last nine Open Championships was in trouble. Up ahead on the 18th, Ballesteros with a putt for birdie. This for three. And he's just done it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he enjoyed that one? His second Open Championship. And his first at the home of golf. In the late 1980s, a new face had come to the fore in world golf. Nick Faldo. In 1990, he dominated the Open Championship no with golf of the highest calibre. Faldo went on to record the lowest ever four-round total at St Andrews of 270. A staggering 18 under par. He saw off a challenge from Greg Norman and on the last day produced a round of flawless golf to emerge as a truly worthy champion. greens of St Andrews. John Daly set the target for the tournament. It had been windy all week but Daly's target of six under looked to be good enough. Only one man had a chance of catching him. Costatina Roca needed to birdie the 18th. His second shot would be critical. He had to get this one close. And at that moment, with the eyes of the world on him, Roca chose to play one of the worst golf shots ever witnessed in the closing amphitheatre of an Open Championship. 60 feet away and still in the Valley of Sin, the world thought the tournament was over. But Costatina Roca didn't. From the depth of despair, Rocca was suddenly taken to the highest height. But possibly the roller coaster of emotions that Rocca felt that day on the 18th was to eventually tell in the playoff. Daly one shot up after the first hole, oh. and an enormous putt in the second, oh. and it came to the 17th, the third of the playoff holes, where Rocca's challenge eventually died in the road hole bunker. Daly was champion. Well, as we picked up the golfers again, this is Bob Brager coming into the 17th here, the road hole, one of the most famous holes in golf. And Bob's played a great shot. If that holds, it's super, oh dear, well, very unlucky. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen there, that's the road. Bob's managed to land on the path. This is Steve. Now, I think this is Steve's third shot. 
He may have launched one of his uh, big drives to here, but this is all about pace. Has to come up and it'll roll down to the pin. Well, just didn't quite judge it. Dawn out in the semi. That looks to be an excellent shot. Just rolls over the hole. Beautifully judged. Now Bob with a very tricky shot. Well, it was a very tricky shot. He was on the green for a moment there, but unfortunately he's run back up the other end. Let's see what Joe can do. Keeps the head very steady. Well, I think she had enough pace if she just had it a bit higher. Bob again. I think he's got that one. Oh, well. Always the worry. Didn't want to be big again. Steve. Now this would be a good four here. He's managed to miss the road hole bunker. And he has this for his par. Very deliberate. Gives it one last look. And well, he just not quite getting to grips with the pace of these greens. good chance but never mind on to the 18th first of all let's have a look at Jill see if she can roll this one in it's about eight or nine feet should break well slightly right to left I would think and she just never gave it enough had the line, just needed a wee bit more. Well, Dawn across the green. This is for a half with Jill. Very unlucky, they're just not dropping for him today. Some days they do, some days they don't. There's the RNA building. And this is the 18th tee. Steve to tee off first here. It's a fair bit of action on that one. Back down the 17th fairway. Sherry coming in. Chasing it up with her 5 wood. Not quite. John, well, it should hold. Yes. Coming into the narrow bit of this 17th green. In the semi as well. She got a hold of it. No, I was lying pretty badly that one. Very difficult to get a club behind it. Forward to the 18th tee. Jill cracks another one up the middle. Seems very happy with it. Now Sherry with this little pitch has to have the weight right. Oh dear, well, she must have been distracted. Very uncharacteristic.
Ron. Similar type of shot. That could be good. If it comes up. Yes. Well judged. So Sherry can do. Bumps it along. Just giving it too much. Ran on a bit. Wilkin Bridge, Don and Jill, some young spectators rushing to have their photograph taken with them. Right, let's go to the 17th green. John rolls it down. Has he given it enough? Oh dear, just leaves it short. Some members of the public just ambling by as Sherry lines up this one. Seems to have given it a good rattle. Uh, that's a great putt. Very unlucky. Coming into 18, that's Bob Breger. Well, too far left. It's the clubhouse in the background you saw there. Dawn, middle of the fairway, just short of Granny Claps wind. I would think he'd be playing an 8 iron here, possibly a 9. No, that looked like a punch 8. Uh, well, the 9 might have done him. Just rolled on a bit, but he'll be able to get the putter on that one. Jay, back at 17. Everybody's just a bit short today. Oh dear, well, that was one of Steve's best. It should hold up. Well, that was lucky. Out of bounds behind those, uh, those white posts. Ron, well, what, 10, 11 feet uphill. Light break. I don't think he hit that one. No, he didn't. Well, it's still having some trouble on the greens. Slight break on that. Yes, he's read that well. Well in by John. And, oh, well, just with some assistance at the end there, Jay got that one in. Jill is coming through the Valley of Sin. She's obviously thought of Constantina Rocca because she's got that one in line. Oh dear, that would have made it a bit more. It was bang on line. Steve's from this. Well, this is a tricky shot. Have to chop down on it. Has he got it high enough up the green? Well, it has to hold. If it stops, it could run off. Yes, as I suspected. Very difficult shot from up there. Back on 18th tee. J. Safely up the middle. Behind the 18th. Don putting down the green. And that is going to be close. That's a great effort. Oh, One of the best putts of the day for Don. Now that would have been a birdie. Birdie the 18th on the old course. Bob. Coming down the green. And will it run out? No. Leaves himself an awkward little one. This is 
where Steve came to rest in the Valley of Sin. Don't think that has enough either. Well, that's a nice shot. Jay and John on the Swilkin Bridge. Let's move forward to the 18th. Bob to finish the round. Well, he's played great golf all the way around, but the putters let him down today. And I'm sure he'll be back for more tomorrow. Steve here. Old course hotel in the background. Well, it just didn't move for him at all. If Jill learned anything from that putt. Slight break right to left. Oh, and she's nailed it. What a finish. She'll be absolutely delighted with that round of golf. Let's go back down the fairway. Ron Anderson coming in with six iron maybe home. He hasn't caught it but he shouldn't be in too much trouble. Pitching a putt for par. Sherry with a similar shot. Better line. Skips on. But well, tricky little shot for Sherry. John, looks like a wedge, hit the long drive here, back to his 9 iron, and he's, well, he's going to be on the green, but it's a fair bit to the pin. Jay firing one up. Right over the flag, should hold the green. Yes, not too much trouble there at all. I think I would fancy her to get down in two from there. Sherry with the smoking bridge in the background. Punches it. Should check up. Oh, that was unlucky. But, well, not lying too badly. You can see the Crowds always gathered behind this 18th. Just to add a little extra pressure, it shouldn't affect this man, Ron Anderson. And he's played a great shot. A great effort there. Now under the watchful eye of uh, some of the locals. Sherry to knock this one down, I think she's going to well, she was going with a 9-iron. Could have been better with a putter, perhaps. John. Long putt. All downhill to the flag, and he's judged that one pretty well. Leaves himself, what, three feet, four feet, perhaps. Gee. It's just not going to run. Now she's got that one just a bit wide. Good for pace though. And oh dear, just rolled off at the last minute. Jill knocked this one in to complete her round here. And Sherry is not too happy with that one, but I'm sure that won't spoil the experience of the the round here in the old course. Now Ron, slight break. Right in the middle. What a finish. John finished.
finishing off on the 18th here at the old course. We'd like to bid you farewell and we hope to see you back here again at St Andrews sometime in the future. Goodbye.